30 seconds. That's all it took for the gunfight at the OK Corral to etch itself into American history. But the story begins much earlier, in the heart of the Old West, a time and place where law and order were often loose concepts at best. Tombstone, a booming mining town brimming with over 7,000 souls, was no exception. It was a place where the line between right and wrong was blurred, where the quick and the dead were often one and the same. In this wild, untamed environment, two factions emerged, the Earp brothers, steadfast and dedicated to protecting the interests of the town's residents, and the Cowboys, a notorious band of outlaws who danced on the edge of legality. The tension between these two groups was palpable, a powder keg ready to explode at the slightest spark. In the midst of this raw and untamed land, a confrontation was brewing, a showdown that would forever change the face of the American West. Each actor in this drama had their own motivations, their own reasons for stepping into that fatal fray. Let's start with the Earp brothers, Virgil, Wyatt, and Morgan. These men were the lawmen of Tombstone, a bustling mining town of over 7,000 souls. Their role was to protect the interests of the town's residents, a duty they took to heart. Virgil, the town marshal, was the lead, with Wyatt serving as a temporary assistant. Contrary to popular belief, Wyatt was not the central figure in this drama. Then there was Doc Holliday, a close friend of the Earps, who despite his failing health, stood by their side in the face of danger. His motivation? Loyalty. Loyalty to his friends and perhaps a lust for the adrenaline rush that came with such confrontations. On the other side, we had the Cowboys. This group of outlaws was a thorn in the side of the law-abiding citizens of Tombstone. Their lifestyle was one of rebellion against the laws and norms of the time. Billy Clanton and the McClory brothers were prominent figures in this group. Their motivation? Some would say it was a thirst for power, a desire for dominance over the town, and a disdain for the rule of law. Caught in the middle was Sheriff Johnny Bean, who was known to have sympathies for the Cowboys. His motivations remain a subject of debate, but what is clear is that his actions, or lack thereof, played a significant role in the events that unfolded. These men, bound by duty, driven by honor, and fueled by the desire for dominance, were on a collision course that would ignite one of the most notorious gunfights in history. The dust swirled as boots met the hard ground, the clink of spurs echoing in the tense silence. The infamous gunfight had begun, a confrontation that would etch itself into the pages of American history. It was a brief but deadly encounter, lasting a mere 30 seconds, yet becoming a lore of the Old West. Billy Clanton and the McClory brothers, Frank and Tom, were the unfortunate casualties, their lives snuffed out in this fleeting moment of chaos and gunfire. On the other side of the battle lines, lawmen Virgil and Morgan Earp, along with their ally Doc Holliday, were wounded, their bodies bearing the scars of this intense skirmish. Yet contrary to popular belief, this gunfight, synonymous with the name OK Corral, did not occur within the confines of the corral's wooden walls. Instead, it took place in a narrow lot on the side of C.S. Fly's photography studio on Fremont Street, a fact often overlooked in the retelling of this notorious event. In the aftermath, the air was heavy with gun smoke and the reality of death. A grim reminder of the violence in the Old West. The echoes of the gunshots had barely faded before the consequences began to unfold. In the immediate aftermath, a trial ensued, with the Earps and Holiday staunchly maintaining their claim of self-defense. The conflict did not end with the verdict, though. Virgil Earp was ambushed and maimed, and Morgan Earp was murdered, escalating the tension between lawmen and outlaws. This gunfight, though brief, has come to symbolize the lawlessness of the Old West. Though the gunfight at OK Corral lasted a mere 30 seconds, its reverberations are still felt today, a potent reminder of a time when justice was often meted out at the end of a gun barrel.